All right. This one pertains to tangents meeting at a point T outside a circle. Let's call these points on the circle A and B. Now, if we draw two radii from the point O at the center of the circle to points A and B, we know that the angle OBT is 90 degrees. So is the angle OAT. This is because the angle between a tangent and a radius is always a right angle. Now, AOBT is a quadrilateral. Its internal angles should add up to 360 degrees. Now, since 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees, these two angles, ATB and AOB, must add up to 180 degrees. If we are to have a total of 360 degrees in the quadrilateral AOBT, so if angle ABTB is 70 degrees, it means angle AOB is equal to 180 minus 70 degrees. That gives us 130 degrees. Now let's check this further. We have here a circle with two tangents AP and BP meeting at point P. Angle APB is given as 75 degrees. Two more points are marked on the circle, point Q and point M. O is the center of the circle. In this diagram, we want to find the size of angle AQB and AMB. We need to know the size of angle AOB first. Now we know that APB plus AOB should be 180 degrees because we are sure AO and OB are radii. We know that the angle between a tangent and a radius is always a right angle. So we have 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. Now since 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees, we are only short of 180 degrees. If we are to have a total of 360 degrees in this quadrilateral, now APB plus AOB should be 180 degrees. That means AOB is equal to 180 minus 75 degrees, which is 105 degrees. Now we have AOB at the center of the circle is equal to 105 degrees. We want to find the size of angle AQB. AQB is on the circumference of the circle. Both angles AOB and AQB are coming from code AB. That means angle AQB should be half of angle AOB. This is because the angle at the center is always two times the angle at the circumference. So angle AQB is equal to half of 105 degrees, that is 52.5 degrees. Lastly, we want the size of angle AMB. Now AQBM is a cyclic quadrilateral, that means Angle Q and angle M are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. Now we know that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. That means angle Q and angle M must sum up to 180 
degrees. That is to say, AMB is equal to 180 minus 52.5. That is equal to 127.5 degrees. Thanks for watching.